We'll do a problem that involves order of operations. We're asked to simplify this expression, and when we look at it, we see that we have an exponential expression to simplify, and then we have some divisions and a multiplication. The order of operations says that we simplify, that we evaluate exponential expressions before we multiply or divide. So first we'll evaluate 3 eighths squared. That's the same thing as 3 eighths times 3 eighths, so we would get 9 sixty-fourths when we evaluate that. And then we divide by 6 sevenths, multiply by 2 ninths, and divide by 5. Now we'll just do the multiplications and divisions in order from left to right. So the first thing I will do is to divide 9 over 64 by 6 sevenths, and that's equal to 9 over 64 times the reciprocal of 6 sevenths, which is 7 sixths. And then I have times 2 over 9 divided by 5. And when I perform this multiplication, I get 9 times 7 over 64 times 6. And this is still times 2 ninths and divided by 5. And I'm going to leave this in factored form instead of multiplying it out because it will make it easier to simplify at the end if I already have some factors. Next, we'll do this multiplication. That gives us 9 times 7 times 2 over 64 times 6 times 9. And that's divided by 5. To divide by 5, I multiply by the reciprocal of 5. So I would write this as 9 times 7 times 2 over 64 times 6 times 9 times the reciprocal of 5, which is 1 fifth. And let's go to a new sheet of paper. This is the last step we had. I'm going to carry out this multiplication. 9 times 7 times 2 times 1 over 64 times 6 times 9 times 5. And now I need to see if I can simplify. There is a factor of 9 common to the numerator and denominator. There is a factor of 2 in the numerator, and 64 and 6 each have a factor of 2. So I will be able to simplify. And let's write this as 9 times 7 times 2 times 1. And I'm going to keep 64 as it is, and I'm going to factor 6 as 2 times 3 times 9 times 5. And now I can cancel the factors that are common to the numerator and denominator. So I can cancel the 9s, and I can cancel this pair of 2s. And what I have left is 7 times 1, or 7, over 64 times 3 times 5, which is 960. So this is the simplified form of the expression that we started with.